Vincenzette started eating meat again. What happened? My partner was diagnosed with an autoimmune disorder so he can no longer eat gluten wheat, yeast, most nightshades, dairy, some nuts and more, without having some degree of reaction. Nothing deadly but miserable nonetheless. So that crossed off most meat tofu is alright most of the time, most dairy replacements are nut based, and most vegetable dishes start to get boring when you can't use peppers or tomatoes. We still don't eat beef though because it's been so long that even consuming a small portion has uncomfortable to downright painful side effects. Not vegan, but long term vegetarian with friends who are have been vegan. Two long term vegan friends recently became omnivores again. I think it first started with international travel, where they felt that they couldn't get a real feel for locations cultures by limiting themselves to vegan food. It can also be difficult to ensure food is vegan if you're not good with the language. I think they also are trying to eat less processed foods, and it can be easy to fall into heavily processed foods with a vegan diet particularly some of the fake meats. After nearly 30 years of no meat and no thought of meat, I started craving it hard. I figured that was my body telling me something. Now I eat little chicken pork. All the meat I buy is local and humanely raised. I have since realized that what I eat isn't nearly as important as how and where my food was grown raised. This might sound like an insufferable flex, but I can proudly say that 90 of what I eat was produced within 30 miles of me at locations I could visit if I wanted. Big qualifier I own a farm, so grow all my own produce and fruit. I tried it for about 9 months because I really do love animals so very much, and I thought that was a moral thing to do. But man. I had absolutely no fucking energy to do any of the things I like doing, and having a disability whilst having no energy made me feel even less capable. I was miserable, did nothing but eat and sleep. I ate meat again because I genuinely think I'd rather be dead than go through that again. My love of animals is strong, but my love of being as able as I can be, and enjoying life, outweighs it. I was a vegetarian for 17 years and I started to eat meat again exactly a year ago. At first I found eating meat terrifying I had made myself scared of something as stupid as food. I still eat mostly vegetarian but I eat meat regularly now. I am glad I am not a vegetarian anymore because I created a fear that really prevented me from participating in a lot of cultural situations. Traveling is easier now that I eat all foods again. I am happy I was a vegetarian but I am happy I am done with that part of my life now. Not my story, but a good friend of mine was vegetarian very nearly vegan for over 10 years. One day she was in Costco and walked past the rotisserie chickens. Without thinking she put it in her cart. When she got home she stood over the sink and ate it with her bare hands. She had no idea what came over her. Her telling me this story is still one of the funniest things I've ever heard. She is still very plant forward in her eating, but she won't hesitate to order a burger or a steak when she wants it now. I mostly tried the diet for health reasons, which it made me feel a lot better but I just think that's cause it was the first time I incorporated a lot of fruits and veggies into my diet lol. Funny enough it wasn't the meat I couldn't stay away from, it was cheese. Vegan burgers, fake chicken nuggets, I love all that stuff almost as much as the real, but when I took one bite of American cheese after nearly half a year I melted. Recreating that flavor and consistency without the moldy cow juice simply isn't possible. Vegetarian for over 5 years but my wife was not. We were foster parents during this time and it was rough. I went to the doctor for an annual checkup and they were super concerned. I failed a basic strength check, I was overweight, my blood pressure was through the roof, and I'm missing meals due to a busy schedule. I switched so I could be healthier for our now adopted son. I am doing better now but damn. It was rough for us for a while with how foster care was going. I started to enjoy my life without pre-planning every meal around not eating meat and dairy. Now that I eat more variety I've gotten a better control on my weight and I enjoy working out. Family gatherings are less stressful because I don't have to stress anyone out about my preferences. My hair is growing again as well. Something I loved about being vegan was learning about flavors and preparing veggies tofu. I still eat a lot of veggies and will do vegetarian options. Got pregnant and couldn't get rid of my low iron, figured being vegan was to blame, started eating meat again and my iron went back to normal. This is years later and I recently got diagnosed with very high cholesterol in the last 2 years of eating meat and dairy again. Doc suggested a more plant based diet low cholesterol is good again and I lost all the weight I put on from lockdown, now I'm mostly plant based again. I still eat mostly vegetarian food and have done all my life. 
However my husband was diagnosed with ulcerative colitis and celiac which means that a high fiber lower iron diet is not an option and a lot of the substitutes aren't gluten free. More often than not when he is meat I will leave it or have the veggie equivalent but there are just not enough hours in the day to make two separate lasagnes and sauce etc. I have a friend that is allergic to meat and it gets pretty bad if she has meat, like ER or visit bad. So she is vegan vegetarian by nature and not entirely by choice. We always make sure to accommodate her if we have a party or dinner planned with her there. I've tried the impossible burger, it's not bad but it's not the same. Turkey burgers are pretty damn good as are buffalo bison burgers. I just incorporated it into my diet again. The rule I had was no meat in the house, but outside I could have whatever I wanted. Because I was used to not eating meat in the house, I rarely ordered it when I went out anyway. I've never had an issue with incorporating meat from time to time. But I know some people who will get sick at even the slightest hint of an animal product on a plate. I was in university and they forced me to get this food plan thing. I had no money for food otherwise. There was nothing. I was surviving on like, fries. No alternative protein sources. Our dining hall has like Sbarro's and Panda Express and overly expensive gas station food. I got so malnourished sores opened up on my skin. So I had a hamburger best thing I ever ate in my life. I went vegan because I thought it would be better for the planet environment, not necessarily out of concerns for animals. After a while I discovered that that's simply not the case, as things like soy and certain oils are actually worse overall for the environment. Switch to largely organic vegetarian instead, only ate eat meat chicken, turkey one two days week. Not me but my dear friend. She was vegan for years and then became pregnant. She was miserable and exhausted she looked pale and sickly. I made her go out to lunch with me and I ordered a bacon cheeseburger medium and watched her start drooling. I gave it to her. I ordered it for her. She felt better right away after eating it. She eats meat now. I realized that there was only a benefit to the ego for doing as much for those who don't engage over matters of health and wellness. I tried to maintain afterward, but it just seemed made sense to me any longer, so I gave up on it. It's like most all of our modern problems where the fix is somewhere well above the individual action. I've been a vegetarian for 30 years, and there are many meats I've never even tried. Once I was at a restaurant and ordered a veggie burger but accidentally got a meat one, and ate a bite before I realized. Within 20 minutes I did not feel good and threw it up. Maybe psychological, maybe physical, who knows. I was vegetarian but commenting I started losing hair. Very obviously. I'm one of the many people who just doesn't produce enough natural B12 and not eating red meat was impacting me physically. Editing to say as a female having a receding hairline is just not something I'd considered ever happening. I had a period in life when I hated low quality meat foods, so ended up always going for vegetarian at places like hospitals, and eventually got used to that and stopped eating meat as a whole. But over time as I grew older I started to like meat more and more and ended up eating a lot of it. I'm still a vegetarian but started eating dairy again when I kept craving cheese and shallotas while pregnant. I was worried about my protein intake because all I was eating while pregnant was like pasta and red sauce because I felt too sick to cook meals with a lot of nutrients. I was a vegetarian for many years until I met my partner, who is an excellent cook. I didn't want to miss out on eating the meals he made when we moved in together, so I started eating meat again. I still try to limit my meat consumption though and do veggie swaps when I can. This was years and years ago but I was drained and just felt quite malnourished as a vegan. I went to a new steakhouse in town and my friends ordered me a tomahawk as a joke. I ate it and afterwards the day after, I felt like a new man. I haven't looked back. I got poor, man shrugging. Was vegan for 10 years and then I lost my job in a very expensive city. I had family in the area and they would invite me over for dinner and I couldn't be picky. I still eat vegan 80 of the time now, but I'll never turn down good food. I was vegan for 7 years. I went from eating everything to vegan overnight and my switch back was the same. I'd started having cravings for eggs at first but once I think about doing something it's a done deal for me lol. Physically I've adjusted fine. I went raw vegan for 4 months and one thing I realized after going back is how good everything tastes. Everything will become so much more flavorful although that was true with fruits too while doing it. After a while taste became normal again. I was a freshman in college and our dining hall had nothing vegan except the sad salad bar and I got tired of living off spinach leaves so I started eating meat I can't eat dairy so I just skipped past vegetarianism and then I never went back. Woman shrugging. I was a pescatarian, so not a vegan. But I grew concerned about pollutants and sourcing of my fish. 
I eat great fish that is wild caught and it gets expensive. So I've added some meat from farms that I know and trust and treat their animals well. Maya was vegetarian but her doctor told her she had several deficiencies despite her being conscious of her diet so she threw in the towel. She's not a huge meat eater but she'll have at least one or two small pieces whenever it's in the table. I was raised vegetarian so I'd never had meat before. Once I was on vacation with my best friend and his parents made steak just for the two of us. I ate it purely out of politeness and it was the best thing I'd ever had in my whole life. Not me but one of my teachers is a former vegetarian. He said that vegan food can cause vitamin and mineral deficiency. A kid asked him about dietary supplements but he refuses to take them. And if you wonder, it is the biology teacher. My wife was able to get pregnant and go full term after years of inconsistent menstrual cycle and multiple miscarriages. She still eats mostly vegetarian, and now that we are done having kids, may go back to vegan and that is alright. I grew up vegan, tried meat in my teens and became vegetarian then after 6 ish years broke my streak. There are so many foods and dishes I haven't tried that I don't want to hold myself back from it. So much good food out there. A friend of mine used to be vegetarian for over 3 years and we went to Ikea once where he somehow broke for the meatballs. My theory till this day is that his mother just had no idea how to prepare meat in a tasty way. Digestive issues for a while after I started eating meat after a few years eating vegan. I stopped because it was too much time, expense, and hassle making separate meals for myself and family every day. I developed a disease that makes it impossible for me to process vegan proteins beans and nuts along with many other foods. I now force myself to eat eggs and meat. After many years, I still hate it.